Hey there, this is Mr. Davis, and I'm going to teach you the five main tools that we are going to be using inside of Nearpod. On your next slide, you are going to see what I am currently looking at, and this is going to be like a tutorial for how to use all of these tools. So first, what I'm noticing is up here, I have all the different directions. There's five different things that we need to do. If I want to hide these directions, I can click on the blue arrow. If I ever need to see them again, I'm going to click on the blue arrow again. So step number one, in box one, it says draw a red circle. So here's box number one, and I need to choose my pencil tool. I click on it, it gives me color options. If I slide this up, it makes my line thicker. If I slide it down, it makes my line, my line thinner. So I need a red circle. Let me choose red, and I'm going to draw my red circle there. Inside box two, it says add an image of your favorite animal. That's actually pretty easy. We're going to go here to the fourth tool, which is the photo tool. We're going to click on that. And where it says Google custom search, you're gonna type that in. So my favorite animal is a cat, C-A-T. I am going to press enter. I'm gonna get a bunch of pictures of cats. And I am going to choose this one because this one looks adorable. I am going to scroll down to the bottom and click save. If I don't like these, I can click on the other pages, but I like this one. I clicked it, I'm going to click save. Now my cat popped up here, but now it's way too big. If I grab any of these four corners, I can click and hold it, drag it that way to make it smaller, make it this way to make it bigger. So maybe make it this size. If I click and hold on the picture, I can change where it goes. Box number three. Use the text tool to type your name in orange letters. So the text tool is down here. It's the capital T and lowercase t. I click on that and it makes my text box. I need orange letters, so I will click on orange. I'm going to click in the box. My name is Tyler, T-Y-L-E-R. But I don't want it over here. I want it over here in box three. So I'm going to click on this four-way arrow, click and hold, move it where I want it to go. That's a little bit tiny, so what I can do is drag this up to make it a little bit bigger. I'll put it kind of right there in the middle, and that looks pretty cool. Number four says use a blue marker and go through the maze. So I need to go back to the marker, the pen tool. I'm gonna choose blue, and I need to go through the maze. So I'm gonna start here, blah, blah, blah. Oop, I made a mistake. Here's the tool I could use. I either can click this little arrow down here and it's going to undo what I just did. Or if I realize I undid too much, I can click this arrow, bring it back. I have an eraser tool down here that I can use. Click on there and I'm just going to erase that little bit where I went the wrong direction. I'm gonna go back to my marker tool and continue where I left off. This way, around there, all right. And that one's done. And then in box five, it said use a yellow highlighter to highlight the word cat. So the highlighter tool is the second one on the bottom. I need a yellow one. I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. And cat is right there. When you are done this, you are going to click the blue button, the blue button submit. That is going to submit it to me. I'm going to see everything that you did, and your name is also going to be attached to it. It's the name that you use to log in the Nearpod. So I am pretending that I am a student. I am going to click Submit, and now it takes me to the next slide. So for you, you are now going to go to the next slide, and you are going to do every single thing that I just said to do. Good luck.